Hello and Rothvigan here, back with another episode of Il II Sturmovic, the Battle of Normandy. We are back with Dan Valentine in his P51D15 Mustang. I did find a new skin for the 354th Flight Group. Uh, it's, it's yellow with a little bit of an ace card there on the little uh, air uh, exhaust thing. Or I don't know what, I'm not sure what that little panel is, but they've got a little ace of spades on there, which is, I think is funny. But anyway, um, it's not the best skin I've ever found, uh, mostly because the, the white stripes are, are not very white. But uh, and then I added a little bit of yellow trim onto the tail and the horizontal stabilizer back there. So I uh, it's a little bit uh, borrowed and a little bit modified on my own. So anyway, hopefully we uh, we can get some use out of it. But um, anywho, we're going to be flying on an aggressive patrol today. We're going to be moving across the channel down to the coast of France around Dieppe, and then. Uh, Heading back up towards uh, whatever this place is, you, and then Le Tripol, and then uh, heading on back up. And uh, once again, Pat Wilson has decided to add 100 little waypoints here, all bunched together. Okay, it's not 100, but it's a lot. <laughs> right <laughs> around Dieppe. Basically, just patrol around Dieppe is what he's saying. So uh, we're going to do that, and we're going to uh, hopefully get into contact with some enemy and maybe get ace in the day again that would be great wouldn't it all right we have spotted some contacts there at uh, two o'clock and uh, I don't know if my flight lead doesn't see them or he's just like now nah, they're not on a patrol route F them <laughs> Maybe because he has to pass the ingress point first before the AI will kick in and do something about it. But, uh, yeah, there's there's enemies right there, guys. Um, they're flying right past us. They're going to circle around and kill us. Hello? Hello? Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Go get them. Go get them. All right, he's given the order to to break off here. I don't know why my guy broke to the left, but that's what I get for having autopilot on. All right, here we go. We are flying on over. Okie dokie, Smokey. Come on, slow poke. Let's go. I was scared. Don't be scared, little Johnny. Be wary. Don't be scared. Fear is a mind killer. You watch a dune. Okay. Ah, oh, like a couple of little stragglers back here to the left. I'm gonna go after one of them. Got two guys going after the lead, so I'll go after this trailer. Okay. Yep. Is that JU88? No, it's a ME410. Okay, gotta watch out for them guys. They got, oh, got nasty uh, tail gunners there. Getting into the kerfluffle up there. Let's 
Somebody's going down already. Hopefully it's an ME-410. Alright, he's shooting at us. Whoa! Already. Hey, 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 hey. Rude. Watch out. Watch out. I really, this is the worst way to attack a bomber. With a tail gunner, but... We'll give him a little bit. Give him a little bit of loving. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm hitting him or not. We're a little bit far away still. Give her just a little more gas. Keep in pace with me. Wing tip him a little bit. All right, my, my trigger discipline is lacking, I'll tell you that, today. Did I kill the gunner or something? He sure is not, uh, not gunning like I would expect. All right, now I'm finally starting to catch up with him here. Are you going in, bud? Or are you just trying to evade? That looks like a death dive to me. I'm gonna let him go in. And we are going to look for the rest of the squadron here. No, he's not dead. He came back up. Okay. Well, aren't you fancy? Aren't you fancy? Nobody snuck up on us? Alright, they got that guy looks like in their sights. It's fine. I'll get this guy a mile again. We used up a lot of ammo on him already. Okay. Let's get this other engine popping. Ah. Now he's on fire. Okay. Now what are you going to do, bud? Now what are you going to do? Better get out of there. Like, I can make it home on one engine? Well, yeah, you probably, probably can. You weren't in such an ugly bird.
not. He's lost it. He lost it. He lost it. Alright, there's a shoot. Okay. Fantastic. As Meatloaf says, two out of three ain't bad. Let's see if I can get, make it three, though. Meshersmith 410. Okay. Don't stall. I think everybody else is having trouble getting up to him, too. Oh, heck. He's shooting at one of our boys. Oh, no. It's one of our boys shooting at him. No, it's him. We're too late. Holy smokes. He just destroyed one of our flights. One of our flight mates. Completely obliterated him. Alright. You're in for it now, buddy. You're in for it now. I want him. That was my best friend. Insert name here. Everybody wants a piece of him now. Late. Get out of there! Break! 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 Ah, shoot! We can tell Gunner. All right. He's climbing. He's climbing. Let me see if I can roll over and get him here. Gyro's uh, a little off, I think, the wing uh, and the distance. I need to adjust the distance if I really wanted to use it at that range. Ooh, doggy. I think we're pulling some G's there. He wouldn't hit me. Alright, let's gotta get a little bit closer. And tack craft that can dogfight, you know? So. Interesting combination here. One ten can dogfight a little bit as well, but I don't think not on the performance like this ME fourteen can. Okay. I got him, I got him. I already messed up at the wrong time. Ow, 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 ow! Ow! I'm in trouble. I gotta get this bird home. First, I wanna take this guy out. Now I'm in trouble. Engine sounds really bad. I'm just gonna unload on him and head on home. That's it. Alright, I'm heading home. See you, sucker.
finishing boys. I gotta head home. All right, where are we? <laughs> All right, due south of our airfield. Okay. I'm gonna throttle back a little. See if I can conserve what little strength we got left. I'm going to go and turn my lights on. Hope for the best. Hope we can make it home. Maybe I'll get credit for that kill. I don't know. We're in a pretty boogered up shape. I stayed on him for too long, but I wanted that sweet, 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 sweet vengeance, you know? All right. Well, the 410's boogered us up pretty good. Got one of our guys and boogered up my plane pretty good. I know, I, I shouldn't have just sat on his tail like that, but... Man, I wanted one of that kill. In the end, I didn't even get it. Ironically. I did all that for nothing. I mean, I, I boogered him up for sure, but... Okay, where's Dean Land? Let's look at my Bendix here. It says go to the left. Alright, I will. Okie dokie. I really just uh, need any airfield, to tell you the truth. Preferably Din Deanland. But, uh, there it is. Right there to my 11 o'clock. Fantastic. Alrighty. Let's see if we can sit this bird down. Throttle back because we are coming in quick. We've still got lots of altitude to lose. Okay. She's really struggling. She wants to roll to the right right now. Tell you that. I'm gonna nose trim up a little. There we go. This will help slow me down. Okay. Put in 10 degree of flap. That'll help. Make sure they both deploy. Yep, they do. Okay. 190 right now. A little, little uh, extreme diving. I'm gonna have to go around if I've got the airspeed. I mean, if I've got the uh, engine power to do so. I think I'll get low and slow enough. All right. Might though it land in a direction that's not against the wind, which is fine. I can land in this cross runway here. I just want to get on the ground. All right, we're low. We're slow enough now for landing gear. Okay, going about one twenty right now, which is good. Keep her steady, buddy. Keep her steady. Is somebody on the runway right now? Oh, it smokes. That's less than ideal. That's a, that's a truck. Dude. Well, that's less than ideal. What is that noise? Okay. <laughs> Stupid truck. I blame the truck. It's got a freaking Jeep on the runway. I'm coming in on an emergency landing. Jeez. Come on, dude. Okay. Well, I mean, we're alive. Pretty banged up. 
<laughs> Lost a wheel on that little uh, rough landing there. Oh, look at the wing is cracked. Oof. Oof. That's rough. All right. Well, we're home. We're alive. All right, well, we got one medium uh, plane, the Messerschmitt 410. But he did get the other two of them, looks like. Good. And uh, one of our buddies was shot down. That was a short patrol, wasn't it? All right, we are here in Pat Wilson's. We are going to continue with our claims. Got one victory, the Messerschmitt 410. All right. Okie dokie. So, uh, Alexander Smith got a kill. James Evans got a kill. And then I got a kill. And Theodore Cook was killed. Oh my gosh. And Dan Valentine was lightly wounded. Oh. Darn it. Yeah, crash landed. Well, I'm getting my first medal, folks. Get my first medal. <laughs> Purple heart. Okay, so my my uh, my plane, the V, did not get uh did not get trashed, so that's good. It's not uh not unsalvageable. Okay. Dan Valentine got my my kill here. And we got some guys transferred in. All right. Dan Valentine got uh, the bronze star. Excellent. For Valor or for Valentine. Whatever you want to believe. Same for uh, James Mitchell. Theodore Cook got the purple heart posthumously. I guess I did not get the purple heart. That's okay. We're going to take a look at our medals now. Our shiny new medal. I am wounded here, you can see. I got the little wound thing on here. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I did get the purple heart. It just didn't say. Okay. So I got the purple heart and the bronze star for Valor and my pilot's wings. So fantastic. You can see the ribbons over here. All right. Fantastic. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully old Dan will be... Back in flying shape in time for D-Day. See you next time. Bye.